With this last part in place, the world's largest concrete boom pump is ready for a long journey to Japan. Made by the German firm Putzmeister, this pump is normally used to carry concrete in large construction projects. But in Japan, it will have a very different purpose. It's going to be pumping fresh water uh, to the cooling ponds uh, to start. Putzmeister manager Gary Schmidt says smaller pumps have already been spraying water onto the damaged reactors to keep them from overheating. But a giant pump like this with a 70 meter vertical reach or 25 stories high can spray 160,000 liters of water every hour. It can also do what the other pumps cannot. It helps to get over any obstructions and in. So it'll reach up and then back into the uh, to, into the building. Engineering professor Ivan Catton says having a bigger pump with a longer reach will be more accurate than existing pumps at the reactors. What you see is a fire truck with an extended nozzle sort of spraying over the edge. You really don't have a clue where it's going. They just hope they're getting it on top of the spent fuel pool. Whereas if they have this one with the extended boom, you could put a video camera up there and you could put it right where you want it. Two of these giant pumps from the U.S. will be helping the Japanese government to cool down the reactors at the earthquake and tsunami damaged Fukushima nuclear plant. Putzmeister says a third one housed here in Los Angeles will also be available if the Japanese government needs it. The crisis in Japan is not the first time Putzmeister has dealt with a nuclear disaster. We provided the concrete pumping equipment for Chernobyl. But unlike Chernobyl in the former Soviet Ukraine, where the plant has been sealed in concrete, Catton says the damaged reactors in Japan can and should be studied when they're safer several years from now. You need to dissect this beast and figure out exactly what went on in order to avoid it in the future. In the meantime, Catton says the best hope for the Fukushima nuclear disaster is to keep pouring water onto the reactors find and repair the problems, and wait for the situation to improve. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.